Oh no, they changed it. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca. Today, I'm just gonna do a really quick makeup for you, but also, um, what? So everyone, I feel, I mean, you know how I am. I'm, I, I do like to take credit for things, I do. Uh, I'm not shy about that. I feel like sometimes a small creator, I get kind of hopped over and we're like, what? I, I was doing that, but just nobody saw. <laughs> um, I had probably mentioned this product, number seven, the Lift and Illuminate Press Powder from years ago. And I love this powder. I loved how it came in this compact. It was $12. It felt just like Charlotte Tilbury airbrush. Um, basically any kind of high-end powder that became a cult favorite press powder, uh, the number seven could hold a candle to, you know? And so many of us have just been duping it and it's been featured a lot on even drugstore channels. I mean, we just all love it. And I think that's, that's, you know, <laughs> I'm not sure the magic that goes into this powder. It's not like it's talc free. It's not that it has magic ingredients. <laughs> it's very straightforward. This original formula is made in Germany and I think getting European made cosmetics at the drugstore, very much an appeal. That's a, such an appealing factor, right? I mean, yeah. So we've got amazing formula. We love it. It's a favorite. It's, you know, from makeup artists to luxury makeup lovers to drugstore aficionados like myself. And then I'm at Target and I'm like, what is this? I do not recognize this packaging. All right, I need to do, I need, I need to get this. So they, I think it's still around the $12 range. And on their website, it mentions it and it shows it, but you cannot click on to purchase it yet. Yeah, so I purchased the light and so far it looks the same. So it's point, it's 10 grams, it's 0.35 ounces, and these are all 10 grams. So they have not changed how much product you get, which is such a thing lately. Like, have you noticed that you used to be able to get the Haagen-Dazs, the pints are not, like they're like these, uh, it does not come with a puff. It doesn't come with anything. Um, I looked on the back and I noticed right away, it says made in Italy. So, um, it's no longer made in Germany, although they probably have products made all over the place. So sometimes it doesn't matter. Like Essence, there's stuff that's made in Italy, made in Germany, made in Poland, you know, so. All right, so I am going to test this and we're just gonna see. I think it's the same. The formula, the ingredients look the same. It's not talc free or anything like that which we are freaking out over talc. Everybody is going talc free. And I know so many of you love that. I think it's great. I have nothing wrong with it going that way. I'm just gonna say though, when you throw away one villain, you're always gonna get another one. So I'll do another video about that, but you wait and see. If now that everything's gone talc free, what's the next ingredient that they're gonna just demonize. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna do a little primer. I've got the new Dermatology. This is number one primer, Blur Prep. Uh, I've used this before. It's nice, like it really does a good job. It's just that good old fashioned dimethicone, you know, the primer where it really blurs everything and it keeps your makeup on longer and I really pay attention to my T-zone and it's not because I'm oily, it's actually because that is where my pores seem to be the largest as well as I get a lot of action around my face right there. <laughs> so my nose is always fading, my lips, my mouth, you know, it's like I need help. I need all the help I can get. So instead of foundation today, I thought what I would do 
is put on the number seven. This is the Hydra Luminous Dark Circle Concealer, which is not really for the whole face. I get that. This is in shade three. This, um, I've reviewed this before and I really like it. And this is also part of the new packaging. I found this months ago at Walgreens. So clearly things are going in phases in terms of what, um, you know, what's available. I really like this formula. It reminds me of the Simply Ageless uh, CoverGirl uh, concealer I love so much. Uh, wears like this, you know, under my eye area. So I really like it. And then um, I've not really put this on the rest of my face like I'm doing right now, but that's okay. There's a first, there's a first for everything. I think what I might do is go in with my Jouer pen. I love this concealer pen. You guys, this is not a video talking about Jouer, but holy cow, this concealer pen, it's so affordable. I think it's better than Clay de Poe and it can go anywhere, anywhere. So I did my nose. It's a very creamy, you know, almost like a stick foundation creamy concealer. I'm gonna put my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in tan lines over the top of this and I'm just gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna go like so. And I'm gonna go over here. I'm just really gonna uh, go over my face. <laughs> You're like, what? I know, I know. I don't know what trend this is, but I feel like I've seen professionals do it. Oh, golly, this formula. Oh yeah, the Putty Blush in Bermuda. Here we are. And I'm gonna put this on with my fingers. I'm heating up the product. This is the Luminous Putty Blush. And I'm keeping it right here. Um, yeah, it's just so pretty. Elf is just, oh, drugstore, you guys. Let's hear it. All right, we are gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna dig in. I'm gonna go old school and uh, real techniques, blending brush. What is this one? Setting brush. God, I love this one. I have five of them. This is an old one. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Gotta get in those wrinkles. That's very nice. No powder, powder. By the way, I do have a little bit of eyeshadow and eyebrows on. I'll list them below. Nice, okay, you guys. I think we're okay. I think we don't have to freak out. Also, if you do find this in any of your stores, it is marked down. So if you wanted to get several. To be fair, I'm gonna go on my other side and do, I have a clean brush. So I'm gonna do that again. All right, so here, another Real Techniques brush. This is the original formula. Shade, this, does this light look the same? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe they came up with more shade ranges. That would be, oh. So this light, ha ha, ha ha ha. There we go. That's uh, for starters, this light, is not as yellow as this light. But I don't think this was problematic. Like, obviously I didn't notice it. I didn't look at it like huge, huge. Okay, so let's see. You know, maybe this was a little too ashy, a little too chalky for some. 
almost used my hand. Okay. Do we see a difference? Nope. Uh, mascara application. I might run through the uh, well, that's, that's fun. Oh, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a check-in in a minute. I'm going to fix this and put mascara on. I'll be right back. Okay, I have mascara on. Let me check that my mic is on. Yes. There is a new Physicians Formula Mineral Liquid. Because these are so good. And I lined my lips with the L'Oreal Chocolate lip liner okay so I'm gonna walk the dog I'm gonna run errands and then I'm gonna give you a check on on this powder okay folks because I think we're good I think I think we're okay I think we're safe I don't think number seven um, did us a dirty and switch this and now we're forever upset. I think, I think it's still true to the formula that we love. Everything looks good. Also, can we just talk about how the fact I did not wear foundation, I am just using concealer and I love those too. So I will list that below because you're gonna see me a few hours from now. I probably won't be wearing lipstick and I probably won't be wearing this shirt, but, um, the point is to tell you how the powder wore. <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Folks, I have good news to report. The powder is good. I repeat, the powder is good. All right, the verdict is in, and this looks good, looks nice. I have no issues with it. Yeah. I mean, I gotta say, for such a casual concealer slash powder, this was good. In fact, I don't even think I need... <clears throat> okay, hang on. Devil's Advocate. I think this side, the original powder, either it doesn't last as long or it has more of a dewy. <laughs> Yeah, so I think this is good. I'm happy with it, no problem. My nose is red, whatever. Yeah, I almost feel like the new powder kind of stays, has a, a bit longer wear, but there we go. All right, number seven. I'm letting you off the hook. Yeah, it's great. Yay. So don't worry, anyone out there, when you see this in the stores, yes, it's a new release or a re-release, a reboot. Um, but so far that I can tell, all the same. Oh, and a slight variation of shade for, for the light. So yeah. All right. I hope that was fun and helpful. Thank you so much. And let me know if you've always been a fan of this powder. If not, are you going to try the new one? And take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.